recorded so that those who have missed our synchronous online classes can access a replay of this lecture on YouTube. So I will now share my screen with you. Okay, so this morning, we are going to learn about different topics no, under um, issues and problems in transportation. So first is, we are going to learn the definition of what is a transportation problem and why is it important to solve the transportation problem and major problems with traffic and transfer transportation and tentative solutions. So if you are going to wonder why is it important for us to know what are different issues and problems in transportation class? Now, as you have um, seen no, the video atong pag Wednesday nga we're in nakakita mong, some of you have already seen ito ano tong pinakalas nga we're in nag-show ko clip although walay audio sa what it feels like to commute in Manila, di ba? So, although di man to madunggan no kay dili man um dili man appeal sa feature ni ni messenger room ang makakuan og audio pero makita nato nga very congested kaayo ang vehicles dito sa Metro Manila at the same time no um there are actually long lines no for you to to ride um a UV express or let's say utility vehicle no you have to wait long lines pa and then at the same time no dili diha diha dayon nga out kag alas 5 ulit adayon ka no unlike this sa San Carlos City nga gawas ka sa imuhang kuan lagi trabahuan for example sa eskwelahan no sa kaira kag motor siguro maghulat kag mga 5 minutes kay wala yung pasakay kay layo kay yung balay pero makasakay ra kada yon no dili ka mo baklay pa or para sa tong nakita niyo sa video tong pag Wednesday nga nagukuran hay sila di ba so seeing that video no as tourism management students no pohon if you're going to work for the LGU or for example um if you're going to own a tour and travel agency, no, appeal mo po na si Mohang, uh, one of your responsibilities actually is to see if pila ang, ang time, no, mong estimate na siya pila ang time going from uh, the hotel to the destination yeah, along the way, no, especially sa Manila Abi or if you are located in big cities, no, maka-encounter siya ka og traffic congestion. No? So, mo po na sa mga concerns kayo mong i-address. No? Unsa man ang pinaka-best way possible to address this problem. At the same time, um, for example, tour guide po ka, no? Nya, kumuagi mi diri, so feel na ko, dili yun masatisfied ang ato ang mga tourists, no? Kay, they would spend longer hours on the road, nya, wala man siya po yung movement, than being, being in the actual destination, no? So, pars ato class, no? Let me just share an experience, no? Um, in, in the tourist perspective, no? So, um, sa una, when I was a student, uh, gaapil mi og mga air SC Congress no katong nakadungog na sa katong session atong pag Thursday ang air SC Congress is like more shag SSG class no ang air SC nga we're in um na na three cycles no so for example karon nga year is local congress so within sa school ra ang kanang congress with the officers no and then if provincial the following year so gidivide man siya into three provinces ang air SC na atay uh, Mother Genesia, Mother Cecilia, and St. Augustine province. No, so, there is a Visayas kay Mother Cecilia Manta. So, tanang AR schools, there is a sa Visayas, no, kay mag meet sila and then mag vote sila kin sila how new officers for the provincial congress. And it it takes travel, no, for example, ang host last time ang host man ato is ang Santa Rita, no, so ang mga schools from Bohol, Cebu, Bantayan, no. Um, sa una, apil pa gani ang late, no? pero mag apil na sila dito sa Mother Genesia province, no? na iban from Palawa, no? sumuag to sila diri, mag-congress. So, when I was still a student class, no? ga-apil ko ganyan lain ng congresses, and sometimes it will be held sa different places here in the Philippines. No? So, nakasulay na ko, ikaduha mi sa Palawan and sa Manila. Now, if I were to compare, no, every time na nami congress, there will always be a tour. Kay one week man na siya ng congress class. So, for example, officer ka, kanya, kanang ning volunteer ka or let's say ginahan ka mapil og congress ay eh, padala ka dito abi sa Manila no mura pud siya og kanang kanang yung mga youth pud nga or in person nang youth for christ mo siguro no nga muag to sa lain nga lugar mag congress pud sila so nag tour me no by the end of the week kay humala man mga activities dito sa retreat house or sa school nga asa mi nagstay so nag tour me sa Tagaytay no kay naaman ditoy 
um, koan, retreat house no sa Tagaytay nga where and dito pud ang mga old nga sisters no kanang mo retire na abi sila din nila kaya ito sila ay padala no mar pa home for the aged for sisters unya class no um, going there so you kami sa buntag like after breakfast na to dayon mi unya ni decide mi at 6 pm mo na og mi no from Tagaytay magto mi sa um Mall of Asia and you couldn't imagine class how wasteful kaayo ang time nga muna span on the road then actually being on the mall kay ang natabo mga to class is 6 pm na og na no naabot na lang mi until 8 almost 9 pm wala hinay kaayo ang movement class no and then gigutom na mi na no? pagabot pa na mo dito kay kuyog of course namo madrima no pagabot na mo dito sa mowa kay Kita gaan na mi og 15 to 20 minutes wa jud mi nang kasuroy jud sa Tibuok Mall because na waste naman among time sa um sa katong na, na stock mi sa sa traffic no while katong amo ang trip pod sa Palawan na enjoy jud na mo ang Tibuok Adlaw because less ang vehicles no wala kayo traffic no and then wala mi gakuan class wala mi gakommute no so nagkuan mi og tour bus no so how much more if mag commute pa jud ang tourist na no? feel na ko dito mag enjoy ang turista. So see, no? The experience of the tourist or the traveler kana labi na class, no? If it's a paid trip, kana nanay itinerary, no? Like for example, mo bayad mo or for example within a day mo jud ni ang inyuhang itinerary no nya. Nay mga cases mong good class nga imbes kani nga time daghan pa ta nimog suroyan unta no or activities ani nga time, ma waste na lang siya on the road. No? So Kung man class, not unless if you're going on your own, no? Nag-travel ka, wala ka nag-itinerary, so okay, radyo ka ayun na siya, no? pag gusto, radyo ka sa mong oras. Pero labi na mga group tours, no? Um, Mopo na siya. No? Kaya si seen, dili kayo well-organized ang, ang traffic. Day. Lahi ang traffic congestion sa traffic class, ha? No? Traffic congestion is walay movement sa um, vehicles. No? Traffic is the movement of vehicles. So, Mona ang mag misconception to every time that oh, we're stuck at traffic pero actually uh, ang proper term na is oh, traffic congestion no kanang walay movement sa vehicle okay so that's it no um sayang kesa sa oras no and for example sa part po ni tour guide no kita nimo nga wala ga enjoy imong mga turista no may na lang kay mga pinoy ta no but we can actually endure it no pero um, sa part sa mga Americans to and other foreigners nga, they are not used to this kind of life nga we're in they're always stuck at traffic no so say magreklamo sila or sometimes ang ilang feedback is ito ang lugar pero they have the worst ko ano no worst traffic jadi sa Philippines so something like that so see no it's really important for us to know the different problems in transportation so that we can be able to dili man totally dito mausab no because we are not from DPWH but Ang ato alang is how do we make like a plan or let's say if poho no if we are going to manage our if we're going to manage our own tour and travel agency or if we become tour guides or for example if you're going to arrange a tour no we need to plan it through knowing that we're inevitable man ang aning problems hello are you still there Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, the. So, what is a transportation problem? Transportation yes, is concerned with finding the minimum cost of movement, transport of people, commodity from a given source to destination. So, transportation is important class because, especially in the tourism and hospitality industry, not only that we rely on transportation, some movement of people because people travel a lot. No, that is our. Ko ang jana tomo raga ng lifeblood na to sa tong industry is. Travelers, no tourists, no, they cannot actually go in our, in, in our city, no, to enjoy our our attractions, no, our facilities here in our city, no, or di mato makapanghambog at ng lugar kundi po sila kaagto dere, no. So very important po kay ang transportation. Not only that, no, especially sa hospitality industry, no, we we rely on um, outsourced ng mga ingredients. We don't just buy our ingredients from from the grocery class. No? Unlike sa household nga we're in, oh, magto lang talito o guys, ano, or save more, palita ta sa ingredients. No? Big hotels actually don't do that. No, They have their own, mag-outsource na sila class. Og, for example, from my farm, 
no mo sign dyan sila contract from a supplier and sometimes no kanang supplier mo travel pa na siya in long distances no nag uban class nga mo order pa dun sila mga imported nga koan nga mga ingredients such as for example wala kayo sa mandiri nga perfect for for sushi no nya for example ang theme restaurant sa kaninga hotel is na asli japanese nga cuisine no mo pa na siya or truffle no like ang truffle din siya katong chocolate class sa life po na siya ang truffle is kana man siya mushroom type pero kuan kina siya it's very expensive because rare mo guna siya class ng dili man siya dali kaayo managhan at the same time um they only grow in in certain places in Europe no nya na may uban class nga mga five star restaurants or five star hotels no nga where in they actually im kanang import no so ko pa sa from from Europe or other countries just to have that ingredient such as strong truffle o nya mo nilang ibutang sa pasta no nya mas lami man daw kuno noon that is why it's expensive no so or like caviar no like kana mga sturgeon nga fishes no um we don't breed sturgeons here i don't know if we if we have bred sturgeons pero kana ilang eggs mo man ginagamit for caviar no so we need transportation to to import those ingredients to restaurants no and hotels who have restaurants no not not only that class no for example in housekeeping in this uh, housekeeping industry in the housekeeping department no like for example ang sa ka hotel wala sila ko galingon nga laundry area no so magpalaba pa sila sa lain nga lugar so they need transportation to transport um linens no heavy linens no so yung anak po na siya ka importante ang transportation so anything that reduces the efficiency of transportation is also a problem so kung mumahal ang transportation mumahal pud ang charge ng mga services no para sa good anak class nga if naatay on if ang hotel na sila ka galingon nga laundry area no and for example kana nga laundry area is na sila ikaw galingon siya nga dagko kayo nga mga plansya no? uh, or washing machine to wash their linen. So, in kaso mas stay in the guest ang katong nga linen o dili rin ang mahal ang charge. But, if ang hotel abi wala sila ikaw galingon nga laundry area, no? they will have to out do outsourcing. So, ang matabuan na class, no? magto pa sila dito sa kuan, magpalaba sila ani niya, may additional charge if na stain. So, may mumahay po ang charge po sa hotel no? if makastain o o linen ang guest. Mabit we have to be careful na if, if we stay on hotels, especially ang pinaka-common lang ginagamit is white linen. No, we have to be careful not to stain um, those linens. No, kay especially if wala takabalo kung nabasa li external or internal ng laundry area. If wala, no, so mas mumahal ang charge. At the same time, no, if dugay maabot po ang, like for example, supplies, no, sa hotel, so it is also a problem no because siguro to ibutang kuan person mo mahal pud ang gasolina class mo mahal pud ang charge pud sa supply so naghan pug ing ana pud nga cases nga we're in oh, it becomes a problem also for us okay so why is it important to solve the transportation problem so this is not only um, a problem lang po sa DPWH class or for commuters, no? It's also some of the problems po na is ma-affect po ang hospitality and tourism industry. Because, kung sa parts of tourism industry, dili mag-enjoy ang tourists, no? Kay he or she will be stuck in traffic for many hours, no? Ma-waste ang adlaw nga. Wala nila na-follow tong activity sa itinerary, kay na-spend siya sa oh, stuck at traffic, no? So, na po cases po sa hospitality industry, like for example, you're expecting to have your, your supplies delivered, ani nga week pero ma-delay siya no so for example daghan kaayog ma-face out pud sa menu to or daghan kay unwashed linens no kay dugay pud ang deliver sa new linens mo pud na siya ang problem pud so urban productivity is highly dependent on the efficiency of of its transport system to move labor consumers and freight between multiple origins and destinations if there is growth class there will always be mobility what we mean about mobility is there will always be movement. Mamang po sa life class no nga. If we move on, if we continue to to move forward, there will always be growth. But if you stay like stagnant tragedy ka, no wala jay growth nga matabo, no. So ma-apply definition. If there is growth, there will always be mobility. No. So yung ana na siya. No. So kasabot ra. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, 
how how is it applicable to us in our industry now if there is mobility or let's say there's a movement of people and goods no there is also growth and ang ato apong activities dili siya maapektuhan no kay gapaday na siya now we can continue with our regular activities in our establishment or let's say with our tour no if there is mobility of people no or if there's mobility of goods no kay kung stagnant ata always how can we move on to the next activity how can we function if no wala if stagnant ra okay so major problems with traffic and transportation so first is congestion. Mo niya ko na mention earlier. Now when we say congestion class, wala y movement, no? Or if na agani slow ka ayo ang movement niya and longer trip times. So I'll give you an example, no? Um, kung magto ka dito sa hayala niya, mo ulit ka if you're just going to take, let's say, kung kaon ni mo tana ni mga vehicles, no? Ang ang kalayo untan ni sa hayala is oh, ato ibotang lang ha. Or ko ay sa man ha. It's my accurate, so I can't measure. Ah, kanina lang. Um, from USC, no, to Aspen, yeah, or Fuente Circle, sorry, Fuente Circle. To ibutang ang kalayo niya class is mark parihas ra sa sa City Hall, no, to Santo Tomas. To ibutang lang, no, or Santa Rita. Kung di San Carlos, so doon ra kayo mga 10 to 15 minutes or maski mga 10 minutes magsakay ka og motor, maabot ra kada yon. Pero that length class kung magto ka sa heavy congested yung kaya nga road such as in Cebu or in Manila kanang 10 minutes ni mo ngayon ana ra nga nga kalayoon nga nga distance class no maabot na siya og at least 30 minutes to an hour depende na sa flow no sa traffic no so that is congestion no imbes ko ano man ko man tanyan ako ni og 10 to 15 minutes ang ing ani nga ko an eh ing ani nga length or ani nga distance pero kung naghag mga vehicles maabot man siya 30 minutes no and increase vehicular queuing so may meaning sa queuing no sa so, kanang taas kaayo ang linya sa gapila nga mga vehicles no unlike dire sa San Carlos pila ra mang kabuk ang magpilan pa traffic ra kadiyot kay naa jay kanang kanang irresponsible nga nga driver nga kung makapark siya sa sa dalan no kanang halos mag na nasa sa tunga dito sa dalan, mag ang kuno na yata ng kalsada, na more than a reason nga no, na vehicular queuing pero it's very uncommon here in San Carlos City, no so vehicular queuing is kana ta asju ka ayo class, no experience po na wala ito sa Cebu, pero sa Picas Lane, wala ra ka ayo sa Picas kana pa pa pooli na gikag Cebu, labi na Friday, no ta asju ka ayo class, pero not as long as in Manila trust me, no pila ka oras ka dito magatang or mag maghulat Okay, so the main reasons why traffic congestion occurs are because there are more cars or private vehicles. Meaning, daghan gatag iya o private nga sakyanan. Munang daghan or munang na traffic congestion. Poor management, poor practices on behalf of the users. So, not just tungod kay daghan or daghan ang naay sakyanan, no? Imbis nga mag-commute rata no, para makasave ta kay sa usa ka vehicle daghan ang makasakay so when they would just opt for uh, to have their own private vehicle no kay for them it's more convenient but actually it's not no, or poor management no sa kalsada or on behalf pod sa users no ang kanang gatag iyang mga private vehicle so dili pod sila um ning anak disiplinado when it comes to driving Level of service is also an example. So congestion is mainly caused by a desire for people to drive cars coupled with a failure by local government to act. If they invested in more affordable public transport options and a better infrastructure, the incidence of congestion would decrease in major cities. If ang atong government would decide nga, let's try to improve public transport. Diba nakita naman ninyo itong different transportation, transportations in the world class nung nga, wherein ang katuganing tramway sa France, nindut kayo ilahang transportation dito, ilang, ilahang public transportation, no, kato ilang train. Okay, not only high speed ang ibang trains nila dito, Affordable po siya, kayo, they would just use a metro, metro card. At the same time, what's nice is, it's comfortable. No, dili siya parehasan ng magdasok mo dito sa MRT, LRT, no, niya, taas pa kayo ang linya, no, niya. No, po na siya. So, if the government would, ano, would plan to improve public transport, no, 
pabaratuhon nila ang plite at the same time ang infrastructure mas improved at so mo decrease ang congestion in major cities because if public transport uh, public transportation will be improved people will be encouraged nga ay mag public transportation na lang ko or mo sakay mo commute na lang ko ani nga train no kay mas cheaper siya kaysa magpagasolina ko sa kung private vehicle no or at sa kanya ta diri kay mas dali siya maabot sa ako ang trabahoan kaysa kung magsakay ko sa kung kagalingon nga car that would be a better option no and then mo barato man pud ang plate class if daghan po no ang musakay mo pud na siya okay so as you can see this is the graph no sa uh, vehicle boom ato ibutang ko an siya no kanang pila ka buok ang nag-own og cars no from 2010 to 2020. Nang decline rin siya gamay class sa 2020 because of the pandemic. No? Because they have decided instead of buying car, non-essential man siya, mupalit na lang kuug ka ng pagkaon no? or ka ng mga sanitation products no? or sanitary products nga kung gamito no? para mapalimpyo sa balay. No? Um, siya. So, nang decline siya gamay sa 2020 then Nang increase siya um, midway. No? Kana padulong na end ang 2020 because so in decline naman po ang uh, cases po. So, as you can see, ning peak siya sa 2018. No, nabot siya 14,000 kabuok. No, just in Metro Manila ang nag-own ang private vehicles. No, so, daghan. Um, I don't know if this is Singapore or Hong Kong, but but I think it's in Singapore nga we're in. Their government has decreed nga um, one household are, is only allowed to have one vehicle. So, carpooling no yung tayo carpooling class sa kasakyan na daghan ang masulod makasulod no dili man siya paya sa kuan class nga nga we're in ah yung mga anak ni kagulingon sa kyanan ang papa lahi po ang mama lahi po no so mas mudungag na noon siya sa traffic no so ilahar despite of how wealthy you are you're only allowed to have at least one vehicle i don't know if it's in singapore or in hong kong pero usar ka vehicle para to lessen the traffic po no so mag carpooling na lang mo Okay, quality of public transport. Lack of public transport or poor public transport will cause problems. If there isn't enough buses, trams, or local trains, people are forced to take their cars to work. And that is true, no? So, if gamay ra ang public transportation available, and if na ang gani available, dili po siya yung anak po, ka-comfortable and expensive ang plite, no? so people are forced to take car loans. No, dali na kay ka car loans na wadi, no niya, especially ka nang nas mga 40 up or 50 stable nang nasa na, na stable job, no? Makapalit na lang ko galingon nga sakyanan. No? Or car loan, mo to siya. So, providing sidewalks si, uh, cycle tracks, better frequency of PT coverage, etc. helps people shift from private vehicles. So, if we promote cycling more, no? Or better frequency or yung mga better frequency of public transport ka nagdaghan, ang provide ng public transport, not just like pedicabs and con, pero ka na yung dinag ko ay, no, that can carry uh, big numbers of people, like for example, trams, no, or trains, or buses. Okay. Next is, um, income is equivalent to number of trips. More the more the growth, the greater the income, and the greater the mobility. So if there are um, many, let's say, ito yung uh, many transportations, no, or public transportation available, no, the greater the income sa public transport, and the greater the mobility, or daghan ang trips nga available. So if less ang income, let's say, gamay raman kayo mo sa kayo public transport, so trips are limited to work and education only. And gamay ra pod ang available nga buses no or public transport kay gamay ra man ang musakay no so gasto man pud siya class if daghan kaayog nakaparada ra nga mga buses or trains nga di magamit kay gamay ra man ang mo commute so as income increases trips for work education and recreational or social activities increases so increase in number of trips trip length and passenger kilometers So road, 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 road hierarchy. Sorry, road hierarchy. Hierarchy is not maintained as per expressways, arterial streets, subarterial streets, collector streets, local streets, access streets, 
Conflicting intersection increases, accidents increases, speed of vehicle reduces if conflicting points incre increases. Okay, so there's also a variety of transport modes class. This is one of the reasons why na apoy tra traf um, traffic congestion pod no sa tuang main roads. The reason is sagul sagul na sa dalan. No? Mapuna to ang mga kuan, um, concerns, no? Siguro dili sa San Carlos, ganito siya ma-feel, pero may mga cases, no? Nga, sakay ka o sakyanan or motor, o na ay hinay ka ayo nga kuan. We do love our pedicabs class, no? Pero night times, nga hinay ka sila, so that can also uh, cause slow movement po, no? Kaya ang sa tubangan, hinay ka ayo, dahil yun ang sa sunod, no? Muhulat ra po, no? Dili ka overtake, po na siya ang reason, no? So, Dapat tayo dapat designated nga road para sa different kinds of transportation modes. Itong mga heavy or commercial nga vehicles or freight vehicles, para sila ha, is just a separate road should para di sila musa musagol sa mga passenger transportation such as buses or cars. Lahi po tayo, na, na, na po tani dapat lane for um, bicycles, no? and pedestrians para dili pud sila mo mix pod sa kanang mga two wheelers or cars no or mga heavy commercial vehicles para to prevent accidents or dili pod um, ingon nga slow pod ang movement class no kay magmix ang slow ang hinay mo dagan o ang katong gadali pod og dagan class either ang cause or ang cause is hinay ang movement or wala siya accidents no kay hinay kay sa tubangan unya maligsan ra pod sa mga dagko so dapat na there is a separate um, Nagri designated yun nga road for each transport modes. So sa freight, sa freight, no consider na under is ang heavy commercial vehicles, no kanang mga ten wheeler trucks, kanang na ay mga cargo cargo trucks, may ana no three wheelers, light commercial vehicles, animal carts and hand cart. Ang um, passenger kay buses, trams, cars, two wheelers, three wheelers, IPT, cycle and pedestrians. So if there's a designated road for each um, transport modes, no, so mas ang flow no sa so transportation is kano siya fluid at the same time dili siya anak ka slow. Okay, next is parking. So actually, cause I comment or atong ikuan kung i-appreciate ang, ang parking sa Japan because seldom na ka makikita ang gapark sila sa side um, sidewalk or sa sa, sa dalan. No, usually, they have their own designated parking space. No, so, dili ito sa mo park masking asara. No, unlike three sa Philippines, nga, gamay lang kayo ang dalan parkingan pa rin. No, or, kanang mga subdivisions ganyan, nga, imbis ipasulod na isang garahian ato sa dalan ipark. No, so, maglisod, mag, yeah, magkuan pa rin, double parking. No, so, mag-zigzag ang muagi. No? So, mapo na siya. So, there are actually um, a designated parking area. In other countries, they do that. That is why, hawan ang ilang dalan. No? Sa so, tuwam, sking asa raman. So, vehicles spend the majority of the time park. Motorization has expanded the demand for parking space, which has created space consumption problems. Hmm. So, mo na siya class, no? The more, the more nga less ang gapark sa road, no? The more fluid put ang flow sa transportation. It is because, kuhan man, no? Wala may balakid sa daan, dalan, unya, daghan ang makaagi, no? Kaya wala nang may nakapark dira. Okay. So, to reduce parking demand, so we have the taxi, no? Kay panlagsara man dyan na mo park ang taxi. Public transport, no? Naman nila kagalingon nga terminal ang public transport, like buses and cycle sharing. No? So, so naman nila ibang bicycles class, nga nana sila yung marag duha or tulo. No? Marag, dako siya nga bicycle more and three people can, can ride. I don't know what it's called. It's like a bicycle pero for three people. No, dako, dako siya. So, that could also reduce parking demand. No? Or, just go on a bicycle, no? Kay less space man ang yahang makuha. No? So, sub-Japanese so po dito class is, mag-bicycle na sila, no? Wala kayo sila go-up for cars, and then, nandiyan sila designated ng parking area. Okay, uncontrolled growth or sprawl. What do you mean by sprawl? Actually, inevitable man yung sprawl class. What do you mean about sprawl is, for example, Sa osaka pamilya, dako ka siya nga lote ang yang gitag-iya. 
no imbis sa usa ka lote kani nga lote nga dako kaayo ang maigo dira nga balay is tulo gitagiya nag usa ka tawo unya ang kato ginahanta ni mo mo puyo near the city they are forced to travel or let's say to to live in the outskirts no sa sa city or for example layo layo siya og distance sa, sa city because di naman siya ka ko ani naman siya ka kapalit o yuta do do sa syudad kay kipalit naman sa dagang sa usa ka tawo no at the same time dako pa jud kayo siya gikuha pud nga yuta no so another example is kana pong mga buildings nga duhara ka floors no like, for example kana apartments or or na condominium nga tulo ra ka buok or apat ka floors no nya kulang kaayo siya no to accommodate the population in a city So, ang uh, matabuan na class since people are living outskirt in the outskirts of the city or layo no so mas more na noon ang mo up for private vehicles no because layo man kay sila balay no nya wala may public transport nga mo cater nila nga at for example ato sya dito sa kuan um ato sya dito sa Don Salvador ato ibutang wala mo agi abi dito nga siri sa tulay ibutang Oh, le, may mga gitong nga series, no, niya, ila siya gapuyo niya, katrabaho siya din sa San Carlos, no, so, he or she is forced to own a private vehicle, no, para yahalan siyong, kuan, um, mag way of transport niya every day. No, so, that is also sprawl, no, kaya, well, di mo na mali kayaan class, because there are people who, who owns big lots, student class, nga we're in, sila, sila rin nga pamilya na po, no, niya, ang mga tao, they are forced to live sa layo. No, so, in a sprawl situation, road transportation systems has a lengthy road network, Increase in the driving distance or longer trip length. It is because, of course, layo man sila o balay, no so longer ang trips. Transit becomes cost ineffective because overall density is low. Higher dependence on private vehicles because again, wala abi mo kiter ng public transport ito. They are forced to take private vehicles, kaya or are forced to own a private vehicle. Class nung so daghan na nung kagsakyan nand, no? Um, because mo na siya. Di mo sila kapoy near sa city. Traffic congestion is high. Walking is nearly impossible in some suburban locations because distances are too large. So that is uncontrolled growth or sprawl. Okay, so let's less visibility. So we'll just continue with this one next meeting. It's already 8.30. So we will continue with this. So less visibility, environmental concern, and then the alternative solutions, which is the last part. Before, ko muhatag og quiz. Online quiz sa class, muhatag na ko og link on Wednesday. So the coverage for the quiz is kanirang Um, problems and issues in transportation and how it also affects how can it also affect the tourism and hospitality industry okay so any questions ah, i will just end the recording first do not leave yet class